me, Crystal, and we are here at Mastercard Theatre's Marina Bay Sands for the one and only Evita. Evita focuses on the life of Argentine political leader Eva Perón, second wife of Argentine President Juan Perón. This story follows Evita's early life, charity work, rise to power and eventual death. With more than 20 international awards to its name, Evita finally makes its Asian premiere here in Singapore. Today we'll be speaking to the cast, so let's go! Welcome to Singapore. Let's say hello to Emma Kingston, who plays Eva Peron, Robert Finlayson, who plays Juan Peron, and Jonathan Roxnell, who plays Che Guevara. Hello, guys, and how, are you fe how do you feel being in Marina Bay Sands? Well, at last we're here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've had so many friends of mine in previous productions who performed here, yeah. but I feel like I know the place already. So it's nice to see that everything is where it should be. Yeah. So, Robert, first question to mm. you. Give us a quick 30-second summary of what Evita is all about. Vita is about uh, Eva Peron, yeah. who was the wife of uh, the character I played, General Juan Peron. Um, they came to power in 1948 in uh, Argentina, and she became perhaps the most iconic um, political figure uh, of the 20th century. Uh, it's about their relationship, their, their marriage, and then also, of course, about how they became this incredible force in yeah. politics in, in Argentina. Yeah. Now, Emma, is it true that Andrew Lloyd Webber, the man himself, watched your casting tape for the role of Ava? How do you feel about that? Yes, it is true. I had to film myself at home with a pianist and sent it across to my agency, who then sent it across to Andrew, Tim Rice and Hal Prince. And to have those three legendary people watch my tape and choose me was out of this world. So well done, you scored yourself Thank this you. role and you're here now <laughs> in Singapore. So Jonathan, you know, with um, Evita having more than 20 major international credits to its mm. name, having won the Laurence Olivier Award, the Tony Award for Best Musical, what do you think it is about Evita that makes it so outstanding? I think it reminds the people that they're the ones that ultimately have the power in any situation. Yeah. Um, the show is about a lot of things. It's about love, mm. it's about leadership, it's about justice. But I think m more than anything else, it's, it's about what can happen if you work together. You know, as a as a population, as a as a nation, um, for good or for bad, mm -hmm. and it, it's very interesting. Um, we were performing it in South Africa at the end of last year with everything we were going through in our country, and it was quite inspirational at the end of Act One, where we sing about a new Argentina, mm -hmm. with what we were experiencing. You could feel it in the audience rippling through, and it, it's quite crazy to think that something that was written 40 years ago is. Packing more of a punch right? now yeah, than it did true. then is, is, is quite amazing to be part of. Yeah, and I think also it brings so much, it highlights so much, so many moral themes, moral values, you know, throughout throughout this production. And speaking about what a, pr a fantastic production this is, how proud are you of bringing this production, Evita, to Singapore? No, couldn't be prouder. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's such a brilliant show, and it's the yeah. original Hal Prince production yeah. from 1978 that we saw in London's West End with Elaine Page, and then subsequently on Broadway with Patti Lapone. And this is the first time it's mm. in Singapore, and it's an absolute honour for all of us to be yeah. premiering it here in Asia, especially in Singapore. Yeah. Don't cry for me. Emma, I understand your mom is Argentine. Yes. And your grandpa and great grandparents lived through the Peronistic era in the yes. late 40s and 50s. Do you think that helps you, you know, relate better to your role of Ibiza? I think it's interesting when you have people who were there who you can speak to because yeah. essentially it's only two generations ago. And I had the opportunity to go to Argentina and visit the Casa Rosada and La Recoleta, like where Ava is buried, and you can see that every single day there's more and more and more flowers wow. on her family tomb. Like she's such a beloved character, and being around those areas, you can feel that a country is still so behind this legendary woman. It's really amazing. So I think it's uh, it really helps your 
bring your character to life and you actually see things for yourself. 100%. Right? Knowledge is power with things like this. When Very you're true. replicating real people, mm -hmm. there's so much at your fingertips to research, whether yeah. it's their physicality, the way they spoke, their mannerisms, their relationships. You know, there's video footage and there's mm. pictures that everything is at your fingertips for a show mm. like this. My story's quite usual. Local girl makes good words famous man. I was slack in the right place. Well, Jonathan, tell us, why should Singapore come and watch Ibita? Well, um, from, a, from a personal point of view, um, it is one of Lloyd Webber's finest scores, I think, and in terms of the Lloyd Webber-Tim Rice collaborations, their finest work together. But this production, as, as Robert and Emma have been saying, it's the premiere of this version. Everybody knows the film and yeah. thinks the film is great, but the film is only well known as a great film because it had the musical to have itself based on, you know, so we wouldn't have had a great film without fantastic foundation and this is what we have here. It's the first time it's ever been in Asia. Mm -hmm. um, this is pretty much once in a lifetime stuff. It's not like this is gonna, you know, oh yeah, it comes back every 20 years. This is, this is it. This the is original the, this production, is, this yeah, is it. brought to Singapore. Right? Um, down to the last detail. And I remember when we first started rehearsals, the, the score says definitive version. Yeah. So we get to say we are touring the definitive version of this production. And if that's Very not a nice. reason, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you so much, guys. It's been amazing. Thank and you. best of luck thank for you. a gala night tonight. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise, don't keep your distance.